Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at a brief overview of some of the Google Apps for Education. The Google Apps include some very useful computer programs to make learning and teaching more efficient. With a little knowledge you can easily use these tools in a way that works for your own teaching content and style. So the Google App Suite is similar to the Microsoft Office Suite, which includes Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. There's no doubt that the Microsoft Office apps have more features overall, but the Google Suite's big advantages are that one, they're completely free, and two, Google apps are completely cloud-based. There isn't any software to install, and all files are stored on the internet. As long as you can get online, you have instant access to all of your Google apps files from any device. And sharing or collaborating with students or colleagues is super easy because all of your work is saved in real time your files are live on the internet. So let's take a look at some of the core apps of the Google Suite for Education. Google Docs is a word processing application that helps you write reports, planners, or any kind of text. It's easy to format your documents with different fonts and colors, and you can easily add photos from the internet from within the app, resize them, and make your text wrap around them. Students can use Google Docs to create nice looking documents that are easy to edit and revise. They can also access their documents from any internet connected device, meaning that they can work at home on the same documents. Teachers can also use Google Docs for planning and collaboration. Sharing with another Google user is very easy, so teachers often use Google Apps to create team documents. It's also possible to insert internet links in Google Docs, making it easy to jump to other web resources. Google Slides is a slideshow application that can create presentations with text, pictures, audio, or even video. Teachers can use a slideshow to present and teach content using a computer or mobile device and a projector. A multimedia slideshow can really help teach students with different learning styles. And as you can see, it's possible to introduce individual elements of a slide one at a time. This is great for word problems, and you can even project onto a whiteboard so that you or your students can write on the board to solve the problem. Google Forms is a surprisingly versatile tool with a wide variety of uses. It can be used as a form creation tool in the traditional sense, but this powerful app can do a lot more. It can be used to design customized quizzes that can be automatically scored. It can be used to create branching activities that take users to different pages depending on their answers. And yes, it can be used to create surveys, surveys that automatically generate graphs and charts. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet application similar to Microsoft Excel. While Google Sheets can be used by students, it's really useful to teachers for organizing data. For example, you can create a spreadsheet that stores contact information. You can also use Google Sheets to record and analyze assessment data. It's easy to automatically calculate averages or to sort values from highest to lowest. You can use a Google Sheet to track reading levels. With one click, you can sort students by reading levels and create reading groups. And check out this use for Google Sheets. You can use it to quickly create report card comments. You can find the link for how to do this in the description for this video. One Google app that's in a class of its own is Google Classroom. Google Classroom is like a hub for all of the Google apps. Teachers can assign work directly from Google Classroom and students can access all of their work from within the app. Teachers can also grade assignments using Google Classroom. They can work directly with students on their work in real time by clicking into their assignments and editing documents together. Teachers can also post resources, create announcements, or even ask questions to start a group discussion. So those are some of the core apps of the Google Suite for Education. There are others, but what we just covered will get you off to a great start. For more info about the Google Apps, you can watch some of the other videos on my channel or check out the Google Suite for Education website at edu.google.com. Thanks for watching.